What's going on guys? Gamer Art back again with episode 11 of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Let's Play. So today's episode was actually going to be about us taking on the trainers on Route 11. And I did all of that. And just as we finished battling the last trainer, just as we battled the last trainer, and I clicked save on this thing, for some reason, my capture card decided to crash out on me, and all video was lost for that episode. So unfortunately, I will not be able to show trainer battles on Route 11. And it, it just kills me inside that all of that was lost. So today's episode is actually going to be us taking on the gym leader, because that is next, and I... Swear to God, I'm going to lose it if it happens one more time. <sighs> Alright, I'm, I'm over it. Let's move past it. <sighs> let's move past it. Let's, let's, whatever. Yo, champ in the making. Beyond this point is the Vermilion City Gym. But you'll need to chop that tree down first. But I think you and Evie will have no trouble slicing through. Come on, give it a shot. You say so, man. Yes, use the secret technique. You seem so happy. Alright, and excuse me. Good work! You chopped down that troublesome tree and opened a way to the gym. And that means you can challenge the gym now. I'll be waiting for you there. Like, like I think I mentioned this. The requirements to get into a gym uh, just seem... I don't know. They don't seem like necessary requirements. What? What's this? Like, oh, you learn chop down. Go right on in. At least Brox was like a, hey, please, um, like please have like something that's super effective against him, you know? All right. Uh, so I guess we can just go on through because we learned chop down. So let's take out the trainers first. Um, who knows? Um, who do we got? I didn't even give a quick squad recap. Shoot. Because I think we're on the content that I already shot. And I already gave the squad recap. Alright. Let's go over the squad. This is a Let's Go Eevee. So we are rocking the original Eevee that they start you off with at the beginning of the game. We also have the ginormous Gyarados. We also have the elusive Kadabra. And of course the cute and cuddly Vulpix on the squad. Forget the Ekans and Paris are there. They're just here for Pokedex fodder. They're just leveling up so they can become new entries in the Pokedex when they evolve. Alright, let's go ahead. This is no place for kids, not even if you're good at Pokemon. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Sailor Dwayne. Magnemite. So I guess I'm just not going to hit save on my... Uh, on my account until I know all filming has been wrapped up. I definitely don't want a repeat. Okay, I forget what level the gym leader is going to be at, but this, uh, I'm not liking this. But they're higher level than us right now. Alright, I'm going to switch to uh, Vulpix, because really, Ember is going to make short work of this Magnemite instead of a Psychic type, so yeah. Thundershock, okay. I don't like that it did that much damage to Vulpix. And it's paralyzed, so now it's gonna outspeed me. And all I wanna do is just do a, a. And you're gonna. Wow, the shenanigans I gotta work through here. Alright. I'm confused and paralyzed. Could have seen that coming. Alright. You wanna play dirty? Like, you really wanna play dirty here? I will bring out my ace. Trust me, pal. Pal. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead, do your thunder shock. Barely hurt. Sizzly Sly, get this Magnemite away. I'm tired of looking at its face. <laughs> it's really got nothing else, right? It's just its face. Alright. 
beat Dwayne. Wow, surprised me. And now I'm going to go heal. Because uh, I ain't continuing with half the over half of the usable squad smacked up. Please don't let that branch be there. The branch is there. I really hated that. Every I chopped you down. Stop growing so fast. I'm so used to after I chop it down, it's saying, you chop down the tree. Yes, I would much like to rest. Thank you. Part of me is like, save. Save right now. Just in case something bad happens at the gym. But then it's like, no, don't save. Don't save in case this is just a bad day for your capture card. Alright, uh, so we fought him. Now let's fight the rocker. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Right, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say. Rocker Bailey. Fault Orb. Alright. Send in Cadabra. Okay. Cadabra. Um, we can use Psybeam on it. That's true. So I'm, I'm really not liking that. They're level 22. Please don't paralyze. Thank you. I'm only level 19 with Cadabra. It's like, do I need to be stronger here for uh, Lieutenant Surge? That's true. If I really wanted to be, if I really wanted to be cheap in this game, I never bothered to do this. But I could just pick up a Joy-Con, shake it, and now it's a two-on-one match. I never have considered that, but that is a thing that I could be doing. But I'm not gonna do it. I think it's cheap two-on-one. Um. I'll, I'll keep battling. I'll switch out if I have to, man. Don't you worry about me. Send out your Voltorb. As long as it doesn't self-destruct, I'm good. But if it keeps doing that... Whew! As long as it didn't paralyze. Like, at least that is doing... So, hold on. So, Lieutenant Surge. Oh, you're gonna do Swift. Change it up, huh? Lieutenant Surge starts off with a Voltorb, I think, and then does Magnemite, and then Raichu. So I can start off potentially with Kadabra and take out the Voltorb, and then switch in for Volpix to take out the Magnemite. Oh, you want to learn Fire Spin? <gasps> Already? Oh, yes, yes, yes. If I really wanted to, I could just... Hold, hold on. How much does Ember do? 40. 35 and less accuracy. You know what? That's going to do more damage than Will-O-Wisp will. So... Yeah, we're just going to forget Will-O-Wisp. Um, plus, it's not even a status, so it leaves the potential for a burn. So yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Right! But yeah, I think that's the strat. When he brings out the Raichu, I might switch over to Eevee. Um... Am I really going to go run and heal? Yes. Yes, I am going to go all the way back and heal. Because I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm cheap. I'm too cheap to just waste a potion on Kadabra. And I really want to use Kadabra for some reason right now. Again, and I might have mentioned this during the cutout, but... Uh, I used to always have a Psychic-type Pokemon on my squad um, whenever I played the previous Pokemon games, but for some reason I didn't do that as part of the Let's Go Pikachu one, and I think it's because your choices of Psychic-types are very limited for Gen 1. Because, uh, you are you know, early in the game you can get Abra or uh, Drowsy, you know, and, you know, Abra's cool and all, but you need a trade it to get that Alakazam, and Drowsy... Drowsy and Hypno's stats don't compare to Alakazam, so it's like, if you're going to be able to trade with a friend, then go for the Alakazam. Um, as far as Mr. Mime goes, Mr. Mime is also part Fairy-type, and there's a lot of Poison-types here in Gen 1, so Fairy-type, you know, you're not 
Fairy type, in my opinion, is not that great for just Gen 1. Um, and then there's Jinx. Jinx is like way at the end of the game, so it doesn't even register on me. That and Mewtwo don't even register to me. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard task maker. Did you have to sweep the rain? <laughs> did you did you mess up so bad you had to sweep the rain? <laughs> oh man. Pikachu. It's a male Pikachu too. Alright, let's take this Pikachu down. Um shoot. Pikachu's defense is really weak. Um, I'm just gonna hit it with stuff like Psybeam and Nightshade. Alright, that's, that's doing the thing. Thunder Wave. He had to. He had to use Thunder Wave. He woke up this morning and said, I'm gonna click Thunder Wave. And he used a full restore. This, I hate the gentlemen's. They have too many full restores. Start a new movement in Pokemon for less, for higher taxes on full restores for the elderly gentlemen. That's my movement because they have way too many and they just use them out of nowhere on young unsuspect unsuspecting trainers still trying to get their badges. Alright. Stop! You're very good. All it was was a Pikachu, man. Alright, so... I'm gonna go heal one more time. Might as well. This episode is dedicated to taking out the gym leader. And we got, like, what? A whole nother 17, 16-ish minutes to this episode? So... I'm gonna go walk and heal. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. So... Another option what you could do is there is Diglett Cave right near uh, Vermilion City. If you really wanted to, you can go catch yourself a Diglett or if you're lucky enough, a Duck Trio and then just use that against this gym. You pretty much wall this gym uh, if you do that. Um, Cause that neutralizes all of their electric attacks. J just saying, and, you know, it's an option. A lot of you can go and catch, you know, Sandshrew if you got Geodude as part of your squad, you know. That'll neutralize the electric attacks also. If you can stop them from using their electric attacks, you know, you... There isn't too much effectiveness to this gym. Okay. I'm gonna put my faith in it. I will save. First, I need to get that... I need to get that, that thing. Uh, that force field down. Alright, nope, just trash. This is the only trash cans, by the way, in the game that actually do something. All right, so maybe I gotta click the blue one. It's a blue trash can. Hey, there's a switch under there. Let's push it. Hey, there's a switch. Let's push it. That was way too easy compared to how it used to be. I remember I used to like get the first switch and then I would save and then attempt to get the second switch. And if I chose wrong, then I would just revert back to my save and try again this time. And then I would save once I get the second one and just repeat the process. Okay, I am saving, trusting in good faith that all video being captured right now and being saved is not lost. Okay, don't want any lost, especially in a gym battle, man. All right, let's do it. Dan Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City Gym. Will you look at that, a pint-sized challenger. Ha ha ha. You've got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. A Pokemon battle is war, kid. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. Alright, let's do this. He's got three Pokemon. Three. He starts off with Baltorp. Good. I was afraid it was going to be Magnemite and we just weren't effective whatsoever. Alright, Kadabra. Counting on you, man. Man? Is he? Yeah, he's a boy. That's what I was saying. Alright, twenty level twenty-five. Not too excited about that, man. Jeez. Not too excited about this gym battle, actually. Cause I got nothing to stop their uh Oh jeez, and he just put up oh, man. At least I confused him. You know what? Nothing's gonna stop Nightshade from uh taking you down. 
Voltorb have a lot of... Is Voltorb bulky? I don't know. And it knows Thunderbolt. Jeez, man. Can't survive another one of those. Alright, alright. Come on, come on. Please be confused. I can't use Psybeam because that light screen is just going to reduce it. Please hit yourself. Yes! That's what we needed. Nightshade, please finish. Yes! Sweet! Kadabra, you have served your job on this squad for this gym battle. You get to take a nice little rest. Alright, Magnemite, we talked about this. Switch in the bolt picks. So, I also realized that I could have taught someone Dig. I'm not a big fan of Dig. Um, only because it's like, it takes two turns to actually do the thing it's supposed to. So someone can click Protect while you're trying to do that. AKA Koga. IE Koga? Yeah. Alright, um, let's do... I'm gonna do Fire Spin and see if I can get it locked in a, in a, in the Fire Spin. Yes! Alright, super effective. I'm a little worried that it didn't do that much. Please don't... What?! This is ridiculous! That was just ridiculous. Is it really gonna just shut me down? Oh, God. Alright, time to bring out the ace. I really didn't want to do this. And light screen warp. Thank goodness. Oh, that's probably why the light screen was up. Alright, light screen down. So, E. Counting on you, girl. Uh, let us sizzly slide into home base here. Come on, please finish it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Whew. All right, uh, Raichu, I am going to keep battling. We talked about this. So, what do I do? What do I do here? He can't switch out. So, I'm going to sand attack him a good bit. So, he just loses all effectiveness. I don't know how long I can do that, but I'm going to try and see how long I can. Please don't shut me down with Thunderbolt. Whew! That is true. I am special defense bulky, so... Yeah, I could sit here and survive another Thunderbolt or two. Just to get a, um... Sand attack off. Alright, so that was two, and he's still hitting me. Please don't crit. I'm going to do one more sand attack. I might do another one after that, because four sand attacks, that's pretty low accuracy. He's not going to be landing any moves. Sweet. Um, yeah, let's do one more, and then I'm going to go on the offense. I might heal, actually. Yeah, he's not going to hit me. Alright, he might hit me. Definitely healing. Don't you worry, Eevee. Don't you worry, Eevee. We got four sand attacks off. I was about to say, please tell me I have a super potion. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So four sand attacks, he shouldn't be able to really hit me that much. Yeah, thank goodness. Alright, fight. Um, you know what? I outspeed him. I'm going to do a bite to see if I can do some flinch stalls as well. Yeah, so he's having a hard time hitting me. And I'm going to be flinching him. Yeah, this is like sit back and relax mode right now. Alright. Whew, thank goodness for sand attack. Jeez. Yeah, I forgot. Eevee is special defense bulky. So, yeah, I guess Thunderbolt wasn't really going to do that much damage anyway. Alright, cool. And Raichu is down. They took out poor little Vulpix, but, um... What am I going to do? Light screen was up. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Four grand. Loving that we got four grand. Fine, then take the thunder badge. Tail slap. Yeah. Got the thunder badge. And that's not all. You're a special kid. Take this. Got an autograph. Da! Ah, don't worry. That's not all I'm giving you. Thunderbolt. Time to teach Gyarados Thunderbolt. 
TM36 contains the Electrifying Thunderbolt. Teach it to an electric type Pokemon for some extra shock value. All right, what's Eevee gonna say? What's Eevee gonna say? What's Eevee gonna say? Yeah. No, come on, you like the head pass. Don't you even act like that. Sweet. Beat Lieutenant Surge, man. Nope, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go heal, because poor Vulpix needs to get healed up. Uh, so yeah, we got the Thunder Badge. All right, so we are done. I think Misty is going to surprise, excuse me, surprise us. Um, I really want to get, get healed up. Hold on. Before we do anything, let's just see. Let's just see right now. Can I do... My goodness, characters can learn this. It just baffles me so much. Uh, let's get rid of Tackle. Not that you're a special attack bulky anyway. Yeah, let's get rid of Tackle. Not like Tackle was serving you anything. Alright, cool. So he knows Thunderbolt. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, it's you again. Ooh, wow. So you beat Lieutenant Surge? You must be pretty good. Glad to see you're really learning a thing or two. And your Pokemon must have tried their best. Yeah, she heals me. Sweet. I ain't gotta go do it. Oh, me? I'm going swimming in the sea. There are times when you just want to break free from the puny little pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Diglett's cave? It's pretty close by. If you haven't been, I could show you the way. Want a guide? Yeah, let us go. Great! Then let's go! Show us, Misty. We passed it up like three times now. Alright. Know where to go. This is Diglett's cave! Diglett dug out this cave path all on their own. Okay, see ya! Be sure to meet lots of Pokemon! Oh, we will, Misty. We will. Sweet! So, let's... I will save right here. Okay, didn't crash on me. Let's go! Let's, uh... I think I still have Kadabra out front. Uh, this guy, what do you do? It's a huge long turn on. Yep. Alright, yeah, we knew that. Alright, let's walk through Diglett's cave. A uh, ton of Diglett. Um, there is the rare chance of encountering a Doug Trio. So definitely be on the lookout for that. They are still small, just like Diglett. So you gotta keep an eye out. Alright, let's catch Diglett. Because uh, I ain't caught a Diglett yet. It's the only place in Kanto you can catch Diglett. Just saying. Actually, is that true? Yeah, I think that's the only place in the game you can catch Diglett. Alright, cool. And we caught one. Like, now I'm just fearful that at any second all video footage is just going to get lost. Oh, guys, and you guys missed it, too. When we were on Route 11, I was, I guess. I was alone. I was on Route 11. I took on the gambler guy who, in the Let's Go Pikachu Let's Play, just owned me with his Diglett, that new Fissure. So, note to self, all right? I didn't anticipate it, but I used Gyarados, and I forgot... Fissure is a ground type move. Ground types don't affect flying Pokemon, so he will just sit there, even if it works or doesn't work. He will just sit there and spam Fissure on your flying type Pokemon, thus rendering his Pokemon completely useless. So, I mean, hey, there's that. So I found a way to break that NPC. He's just going to sit there and spam Fissure over and over. Go with your flying type. He'll never land a hit, and you can sit there and take a good old time uh, taking him down. So, the end of Diglett Cave takes us back to Route 3, right south of Pewter City. So, we're back. We made it. We made the whole loop. The whole triangle loop. And now we come here. Eva! Remember me? I'm one of Professor Rogue's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no. It's a little too bright out here. Inside! I'll be waiting inside to show you. Whenever you're ready, Eva. Alright, let's go inside. Because uh, he's got a new thing to teach us. Oh. Oh, excuse me. So you came. Then let's get down to brass tacks. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique of light up. Now let me turn off the lights and... There, nice and dark. Now if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, 
you will be able to sense your surroundings no matter how dark it is. So it's really like night vision. See, it seems bright even with the lights off. My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see. Here, I can teach you how to do it too. E! Huh? It seems Evie wants to learn it instead, Eva. What? And you say it already knows the secret technique chop down? I see. Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Evie is special. Fascinating. Let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. I thought the lights were already off, man. Story holes. Whatever you want. Now, Evie, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. Alright. Whatever, man. You're Evie. It really is quite wonderful. Now use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. Alright, cool. Oh, Eva! Did you learn how to use Light Up from Professor Oak's assistant too? What? You didn't learn it, but Evie did! That partner of yours is really amazing, Eva. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? That's okay, man. I'm fine by myself. Really? Well, okay. You sure you'll be alright? Yeah, I want to go alone. Creep, like, leave me alone. Okay! Just in case, though, let me give you directions. If you head east from Cerulean City, you reach a place called Rock Tunnel. It's... Okay, I was going to say, somewhere, somebody told me Granite Cave, and I've been calling it Granite Cave, and let's go Pikachu. But he straight up tells you it's Rock Tunnel. No more confusions this time, Rock Tunnel. It's supposed to be pitch dark in there. Be careful. I think that's like the only place where it's pitch dark too. So this HM move was only useful for one place this whole time. Alright, so I think there's something down here that we can get. I think. I think. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Does she give us anything? Nope. Doesn't give us a thing. Alright, there's gotta be something, right? An item. Leafstone! Hey! Who... Okay, I was gonna say, who uses a leafstone? Weeping Bell uses a leafstone. But, we're gonna be coming up on where we can buy stones anyway, so... I'm not too concerned. Uh, Vulpix will be turning into an Itail soon. Is there anything here? No. No. Eevee's tail's not even wagging. Well, this is, Whatever. Alright. So that is it, I think, for today's episode. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed the episode, though, please hit that like button uh, just below the video. Uh, next episode, we are going to be continuing right where Cody went to take us. Route 7, I think it is. Uh, to head over to Rock Tunnel. So that way we can continue on with the game story. Um, I'm just going to be running over because I want to babysit the Lady Slowpoke and get that Big Pearl for the day. So, yeah, that's where we're going to end it off uh, as far as next step. That's where we're going to start it at part of next episode. So, I will see you guys 